Yo, what's up guys? Hey, welcome back to the channel. Yo, if you're new here or you've been here before and you haven't done it already, I need your help, guys. I need you to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share. Share my videos, man, because there's a lot of people out there that's looking for the same information as yourself. So, you know, be kind and share, you know what I'm saying? Let everybody else know the secret is that there's actually a real person here that's giving you real information, you know, giving you real, like, insight in the fields. You know, a lot of people just make videos and be like, oh, yeah. It's cool to be an x-ray tech. We press a button and we see bones. It's cool, you know, but they don't tell you that the OR gets crazy. They don't tell you floral gets crazy. They don't tell you the ER gets crazy. They don't tell you the portables are crazy. They don't tell you that the patients are hard. They don't tell you that. They don't tell you that surgeons are mean in the OR. They just tell you, oh, it's fun. It's not always fun. So if you like that, if you like real content, please subscribe. Also, this is my Instagram page. I know it's spelled out, but you know, type it in. You'll see this face right here. Follow me. Um, I'm trying to grow that just to give other, just, like I said, to give people information like yourself. Um, so today's video is about should you go for this first? So this is the thing, right? <clears throat> A lot of people is like, oh, hey, you know, if I go for there, there's texts out there that that go to MRI first, and you know, you don't have to be a um, X-ray tech. And I understand that. Trust me, I understand when, you know, there are there are plenty, there, there's the schools that you can go straight to MRI and you don't have to go to x-ray first, right? But this is the thing. I know plenty of MRI techs that have went to MRI. Luckily, they set their foundation and they went to, see, to x-ray first. They went to MRI and they got burnt out because it's you're the only person there. You have to slide patients. Sometimes at the hospital, you have to go get your own patients. There's not even, there's no transportation. And if you wanna make money, 90% of the time, you have to work at hospitals. So yeah, it could be an MRI tech and work outpatient centers and make probably $15 less. Or if you really wanna make the real money, you gotta work at the hospital to make good MRI money, right? Bonuses, all that good stuff, whatever. But they get burnt out every, every um career has a burnout session burnout time they do you get burnt out patient at the patient patients moving you know you can't get good images then the radiologist yells at you because the mri was so much motion whatever the case may be right so that's what i tell people all the time if you go to mri school first right mri school is two years I guess I've never been an MRI straight, straight MRI. I'm not even an MRI tech. I just know a lot of information because I've been in the medical field, imaging field for a long time. You go to MRI school first for two years and you're like, man, I'm burnt out. It's not what I expected. You know, it was cool at first, but you're a year in and you're like, okay, I can't see my family because I'm always on call. I can't go anywhere. I'm going to chill with my friends because, you know, I'm always working. You know, um, that gets tough, right? And say, you know, you say, you know what? I want to be an x ray tech you still have to go back to school for two years. So that's a total of four years if you do MRI first and then decide to go to RT. Will you? I don't know. It's just a, it's just a hypothetically speaking, right? Now, that's why I tell everybody to go for radiology tech first, RT first, because you set your foundation. So if you go for RT first for two years, then you can go to, you can build off of that. You know, so say you wanna go for MRI, that takes you between six years, a year to six months. You wanna go for CT, that takes you another year to six months. You wanna go to ultrasound, that takes you one year. So you can build off of your radiology tech, but you cannot build off your other modalities. And that's the difference. That's why I tell people, yes, you can go straight into MRI. Do I recommend it? No, I do not recommend it. Because the programs that do offer MRI straight into MRI are usually private colleges. I don't see a lot of state colleges or public colleges offering MRI automatically without being RT certified first. So what that means is that you're gonna to go to MRI school first at a private level, which means you're gonna pay between 40 and 60,000 for a career that you don't even know if you're gonna like. You know, you have to start IVs. You have to be very, very careful with the, um, with the patient's um, blood work because if you inject, um, if you inject the conscious that they use, and their kidney levels aren't to par, you can you can potentially kill a patient, you know? Uh, so that's why I feel like a lot of state colleges and public colleges make you do the foundation first. You can understand what you're getting yourself into. And the cool thing about starting radiology tech first is that when you go do clinical rotations, towards the end of your, you know, I think second year, 
you get to you know rotate through different modalities and you can see oh this is mri this is cool i do like it i'm gonna go as soon as i pass my board i'm gonna go straight to mri school in six months i'll be an mri tech or you know you rotate through ct and be like you know what ct is cool it's fast paced um you know you're not with the patient too long it's intense but it's fast paced you get paid good i'm gonna follow the art the ct route that's the thing you have to set a foundation guys that's why i stress about go for rt first i don't want you guys out there to go for mri first or ultrasound first which nothing wrong with it but i don't want you to go out there and be like oh man it's not what i expected i should have went for rt first you know what i'm saying because you have somebody telling you kind of like what to do and kind of like how to set your foundation um but again guys this is just my opinion i've been in the medical field for a long time i've seen a lot i've done a lot and uh i'm here to help you okay so hey guys i hope that this helped out if it did thank you for watching thanks for supporting until the next one